the war between Russia and Ukraine has been dragging on and becoming increasingly expensive and draining, to the point where the use of nukes is now being considered a good idea. Hello and welcome to Warfare Today. Question, why don't major powers use nuclear weapons against each other? Well, the answer is obvious. Because it would trigger a phenomenon known since the beginning of the Cold War as MAD for Mutual Assured Destruction. This applies to NATO members as well, since a nuclear attack against a member of the alliance would lead to an equally deadly retaliation from nuclear powers like the US and UK. Little Ukraine doesn't fit that bill. After all, it's not a nuclear power, nor is it part of NATO. Of course, major players can threaten Russia in case of nuclear artifact usage on those lands, but the fact is that no sane leader would initiate MAD for a foreign nation that has no legal obligation to protect. After all, such retaliation would trigger a Russian response that would lead to the great nightmare of the Cold War. And it's this reasoning that has fueled a growing faction within Putin's regime. This faction believes that, given the significant ties severed with the West, launching tactical nuclear weapons at Ukrainian military targets could be the key to quickly and much more cheaply ending the conflict, especially since Russia already possesses thousands of such armaments, which would result in significant cost savings. Of course, the free world would voice opposition and impose even more trade sanctions, but the question is, Putin's government has been under sanctions forever, and where has that led us? Well, the truth is, this kind of international community punishment doesn't scare anyone. This serves as an argument for powerful politicians like former President Dmitry Medvedev, who believes that the only significant Western retaliation would be an attack on some Russian positions in Crimea and other occupied regions, and of course, a complete severance of relations with the West. For politicians like Medvedev, this would be a low price to pay. After all, it would secure the Russian victory and all the military and economic advantages that the conquest of Ukraine would bring. Therefore, the scenario remains uncertain. Russia faces a delicate dilemma, to continue a long and expensive war or to risk the use of nuclear weapons with unpredictable yet potentially damaging consequences for its international standing. The choice between these difficult paths falls on the shoulders of Putin and his government, while the war continues to affect the lives and resources of those nations. But what are your thoughts about this matter? Do you believe the world is walking to the next nuclear conflict? Thanks for watching.